answer to the question, what is the square root of 9, is 3. However, I now ask you, what is negative 3 times negative 3? It's also 9. So in fact, the answer to the question, what is the square root of 9, has two solutions. Have you ever filled up a water balloon with a hose? Its volume begins to expand more and more as water passes from the hose into the balloon. There are scientists today who believe that the universe may have begun in a similar way with the universe being flooded with matter coming from a very special object. But what kind of object could spew out matter and populate the cosmos with everything we can see today? Some scientists believe it could be a white hole. What are white holes? White holes are curious mathematical opposites of black holes. We are all familiar with black holes, the super dense object that not even light can escape. They're born from the material of massive stars when they explode in brilliant supernovae. They have made appearances in a multitude of science fiction novels and movies, like the box office hits Interstellar and Star Trek. But did you know that they have a theoretical twin called white holes that exhibits the opposite behavior to black holes? In fact, they are often referred to as the time reversal of a black hole because they share so much of the same physical properties, but are essentially running in reverse of each other. While nothing can escape the pull of a black hole, it is impossible for matter to fall into a white hole. They can only spit out matter. These objects could hold the key to many mysteries that confound modern day scientists, including a role in the beginning of the universe. What makes them hard to study? One of the leading reasons why white holes are so hard to study is that as of right now, they are entirely theoretical as none have ever been detected in the universe. But that doesn't mean they don't exist. In fact, one of the most famous and well-tested theories in physics, Einstein's theory of general relativity, originally predicted the existence of white holes and gives a description, but fails to give much more information on what conditions may generate them. They'll be extremely hard to detect, even using modern day technologies. Even the biggest black holes, if you want to see them, you're going to need a telescope the size of the Earth. There are those who claim white holes are much more elusive than black holes. Remember that it was only two years ago that scientists were able to take the first picture of a black hole. Some theories attempting to explain them state that they are extremely short-lived possibly even just a few seconds, only popping into existence to belch their matter into the universe before they die. Regardless of how hard they are to find, scientists are continually working to invent new ways of detecting and studying these mysterious objects. What are some theories about them? While there is no widely accepted theory as to what white holes actually are, there are several theories that have gained popularity in recent years that try to explain how white holes behave. There are many theories that try to tackle the mystery of white holes, but so far, none have been able to convince enough people to really come out as the front runner. One group of scientists are working on a theory that argues white holes are just one side of wormholes connected to a black hole on the other end. This could mean that the matter we detect falling into the black holes in our universe could pop out of a white hole somewhere else in our universe, or perhaps a different universe entirely. What kind of technology could be possible if this is true? Could we use these objects as a way of traveling impossibly fast between two distant points? Or could we eventually use them to take trips to other universes? The white hole that started it all. Another theory expands on the idea that white holes could only exist in the hot and wild environment of the extremely early universe. The scientists go on to posit that only one white hole has ever existed in our universe, and it was both born and died at the very beginning. 
It goes on to claim that the Big Bang was caused by a white hole that popped into reality and ejected all of the matter within its body until the universe as we know it was filled with matter. White holes may also hold the key to understanding how our universe kickstarted its expansion and what may be in store in the distant future. How do scientists want to understand white holes? If scientists are able to prove these objects exist and are able to understand how they function, not only will there be a deeper understanding of our reality, but it may lead to technology that we can't fathom today. It will also help scientists get closer to developing the ultimate unified theory of everything. As well, it would be another feather in the cap of Albert Einstein as another one of his predictions from general relativity is proven true. Should we be scared of them? But if they do, or did, exist somewhere out in our universe, what were they like and what do they do and should we be frightened of them? Because nothing can get into a white hole like a black hole. There is no need to worry about being sucked up, but they do emit matter and energy, which could potentially be harmful. There are scientists that believe when white holes reach the end of their life, they undergo what can be referred to as a time correction. During this process, white holes will explode in massive blasts spewing and propelling its content far into the cosmos. We most likely don't need to be scared of being destroyed by a white hole. According to theory, if they do exist, they would be rather rare, and it is unlikely that one exists or will exist close enough to have a major effect on our solar system. What if Einstein was wrong? What if scientists in the future reach the conclusion that white holes are purely hypothetical objects and they do not exist in our universe? Luckily for science, the likelihood of general relativity being completely wrong is very low. There has been rigorous testing of Einstein's theory, and it's received a lot of additional support since it was first released in the early 1900s. But there still is a chance that some of the theory is wrong or has been misinterpreted over the years. If scientists cannot find evidence of white holes, they may have to take another look at Einstein's theory and try to reconcile any inconsistencies that may arise with what they find. The quest to understand the entirety of how our universe functions will likely be a forever ongoing process. But as we learn and discover more about our universe, it continues to amaze and inspire people around the globe. Thanks for watching. Leave us a comment down below and let us know what your favorite theoretical object or phenomenon is. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our new videos. See you next time on Matter.